Hi again. Now I know what you're thinking, but let me explain. You see, Little Rock Fashion Week staff, we tend to work efficiently. Right now, I'm here in front of the State House Convention Center in downtown Little Rock, which was the site of the Little Rock Fashion Week Couture Show. Along these very sidewalks, local celebrities, national celebrities, Fashion Week participants walked along the red carpet to be interviewed by our red carpet correspondent and radio personality, Queen V, before stepping into the building to experience the couture show. Now, I want to take you inside so you can get a, mm, a small glimpse as to what you missed at the Little Rock Fashion Week couture show. Follow me. No, I'm serious. I know it's VIP, but you can follow me. Unlike any other red carpet event in Little Rock, the Couture Show on August 15th captured the imaginations of many. Hosted by Sway Calloway of MTV News and Beth Hunt of KATV ABC Channel 7, the Couture Show featured designers and boutiques that specialize in couture fashions. Whether the clothes were chic, sophisticated, artistic, and just plain out of this world, the audience got a lot out of the experience. Sway and Beth showed great chemistry on stage, which guests found entertaining. It was the kid models of Lads and Ladybugs that touched our hearts. And with performances by MTV's Making the Band finalist Jay Jamerson and Arkansas band Pretty Boy Convoy, award given to the first Little Rock Fashion Week icon recipient, Kevin Sanders, presented by Heather Brown of Alice 107.7, the couture show positioned itself as the premier fashion and entertainment event for years to come. There you have it, a recap of Little Rock Fashion Week 2009. Now, let me just tell you this, from the bottom of my heart, there can never be a Little Rock Fashion Week without the city and the city of Little Rock, Arkansas. I'd like to thank, to my, thank my wonderful staff for believing in the vision and believing in its city. Also to the hairstylists, makeup artists, the designers who put in a lot of work to make this all possible. Lastly, lastly but not least, we got to give it up to all the vendors and the sponsors who jumped on board, who believed in us to make this all possible. Dillard's Park Plaza, Russell Honda, who provided the cars that our celebrities and guests rode in, 103.7 The Buzz, Little Rock Convention and Visitors Bureau, Dime One Super Boutique Pine Bluff, 360LittleRock.com, Campbell Marketing Group, Above and Beyond Limo Service, Amelia Rose Body Couture, AEB Design, Jacksonville Athletics, Handcrafted Designs and Cultural Products, Excel Modeling Agency, Integrity Modeling Agency, Peabody Hotel. A very special thanks to The Watershed and Hezekiah Stewart for being our nonprofit partner and assisting us on so many levels throughout the process. For the sponsors and other people who would like to get involved with Little Rock Fashion Week 2010, yes, there will be a Little Rock Fashion Week 2010. Log on to LittleRockFashionWeek.com to find out information about sponsorship, advertising, and also to get this piece of history, Little Rock Fashion Week DVD and the official photos. LittleRockFashionWeek.com is the place to be and the place to go. So, until 2010.